Sucker tits. Sally Rage, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you. All right, we've got stuff to do here. We have to find and question Mr. Harold here. If I ever need to connect a device to Ben's mainframe, there is the spot. Hmm. Get out of here. No, he was brushing away those booze big time. Harold! Come out and play! You are upstairs, I think. Uh-oh. That... No, Harold, there he is. Well, that woman seems strangely familiar. Darn, wait! Wasn't that the lady in the painting? What is going on here? Cut out that racket! I need my beauty rest! Master Detective, please come in. I'm Let's in see. my room. Totally not late this time. I've had enough of your rudeness. Leave me alone. Mr. Harold, is that you? Please take care of my laundry. <laughs> I'm just trying to see who's uh, my friend and who's not. You're happy? Well, I'm happy too. Hello, little kid statue. Somebody left the... So, Two glasses of wine? That's a waste. Hmm. Well, should we go Cut out that racket? I need my beauty rest. I think we should go talk to uh is it Rachel? Yeah, let's go into Rachel's room. Hello there. Hi. I was just tidying up a bit before turning in. You'll never believe what I found by the bed. A secret compartment. I have no idea how to open it. Maybe you have a clue. Or two? Or a blues clue? Mm-hmm. Cece, how are you doing? My day is great. Thank you for stopping by. All right, folks, we are looking for the morph. The objects that be morphing. According to my research, Jacob and Meredith had two children, a Duncan born in 1863 and Fiona born in 1865. Other than their birth dates, I haven't been able to find any more information about them. Oh yeah, I have played 400 of these hidden object games, guessing. I think Sarah said like 350 to 400, somewhere around there. Not going to count them. <laughs> All good. You hear the clock? I hear something. <gasps> it's an army man. Where is the morph? Oh. I guess we're just going to leave that there. Yeah, the part of the problem is, is that some of the... Oh, there's the morph. Some of my items in that playlist are just beta, so... I think there's like 500 videos in that list, but... I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not too worried about I've it. I've had enough of your rudeness! Leave me alone! 6,000 videos, that's all I can Mr. say. Harold, is that you? Please take care of... 6,000 or 6... 509. Oh, wow, there you go. I, for, I think it's 6,000 videos, six, I don't know, a lot of videos too. It's all good, folks. My addiction is real. I thought I did check the laundry, that's where I got this little uh, kid statue from. But I'll check again. Food talking time? Wow. Is it time for that already? Oh. For queen and country, I guess. Where's my little flag? You can't remember when you joined the streams? Oh, that's all right. I don't remember even when I started the stream, so we, we have that in common. A uh, burner valve. Yeah, I'll check the laundry. I think I already did grab it, though. 
6,538 YouTube videos that are public. I probably have another 30 that are published or, you know, scheduled to be published. Yeah, I definitely cannot get in the laundry. Cut out that racket! I need... Warning! The area beyond the door is restricted. Do not tinker with the mechanism. As Master Detective, you are bound to break a rule or five. Nancy Drew would agree with you. Uh, my dear, the line between humanity and humanity is thin. Between those two opposites stands your bastion, the rules. They will shape your being. They will help you remember. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta love annoying the guests, exactly. Uh, well, let's have a look at our map. It says we can go back to the dining room, so that's what we will do. Uh, no, basically if I have played a game and I haven't played the bonus chapter, I just leave it installed on my computer. And then once I fully played the game, then I uninstall it. So that's how I keep track. And frankly, not all of the bonus games, or not all of the bonus chapters will get played, so. Okay, so what do we have to do here? Oh, three out of three of these. Hello. Damn, wow, you really know your stuff. I, does that mean you've played this? Or are you just that good? You've got candy. What? Laura knows too. Box on the mantle. Father, since the tragedy, my heart has burst into three. One goes to my children, who will forever be with me. To the second, my departed husband holds the key. The third is filled with my eternal love for thee. Even beyond the grave, when there's no more love to be. That is quite the morbid poem. A very morbid poem. Wait, fast travel. Rachel's room. Let's find out what's in the floor. We've got eggnog. Really? Is eggnog in season yet? Uh, I only have one computer for games. Uh, I mean, I have a, a work computer for work. That obviously is for work. And uh, a laptop that I use for teaching. But... Just one computer for streaming and games. A horde of guests, odds and ends, but this was George's room. Perhaps he left something behind, and it's a ladybug. Eggnog is in season, wow. Okay. Oh, look! Look who we have here on the wallet! <gasps> Madame Fate! Yeah. Some gum? I don't know why you'd keep gum in a wallet. I don't think I would ever do that. Let's see here. Mr. Stanford, I'm ready in regards to your inquiry. As of today, Huxley's boarding house will have an opening. We would be honored if you would grace us with your presence and experience the very Victorian lifestyle. Yeah, I teach uh, college. Uh, just part-time, just for uh, the summer semester. One course. Nothing major. Ooh, that's kind of sinister. Ooh, duct tape. <gasps> Are we going to plug up a pressure hole? Like we did in Beyond 2 with duct tape? Madam Fate, indeed. I love the idea of eggnog. But I can't have more than a sip or a shot of it, and I'm like, so rich, so creamy. I teach a chemical engineering course, actually. You guys were asking me about my major. I teach a chemical engineering course at a local college. It's just a nice excuse to get out of the office. Okay, where's the file? Ah, oh, big ass file right there. The Roman numerals for nine. Ah, thank you. Very nice, Laura. Very nice picture. You know what? I never thought of cutting eggnog with milk. Actually, that is a great idea. 
Okay, so we need a pitcher. Keep wanting that to be it, but I guess it must be here. Oh, it's a pitcher within a pitcher! Funny. Very funny. What the heck is this thing and why is it all chained up? Looks like the Diagrove camera. Ben has equipment to restore the footage. But no one is crazy enough to leave their room during lights out. Sorry, you're on your own. Great, thanks a lot. Not gonna help me at all. You can't imagine me as a teacher? <laughs> Why not? You don't want to learn from me? You don't think I can teach you things? I think I think we can learn something from every other person on this entire planet. I think that no matter where you are in life, you can teach somebody something. That's something my father always taught me when I was little. Harold, it's on to me. As I write this, he's addressing me from the hallway. I hope you will find this note. She's alive, Ben, I've seen it. Everything is on the camcorder's footage. I'm running out of time. I'll get off my soapbox now, if that's bothering you, but no, I uh, firmly believe that. Uh, why is there like paper clips all over it? Okay. Ah, here we go. It's a game token that was shoved in there for some reason. Hmm. <laughs> I had to be a genius to beat that super puzzle. You know what's funny about that? Is if I wasn't live streaming, I probably would have skipped it. Let that be a secret. Don't tell anyone. If I'm recording those super puzzles by myself, I'm a little less inclined to actually finish them. But I was enjoying that one, so I guess... I don't know. I've said it to you guys before that by me live streaming, I have incentives to actually solve these things. I'm motivated. Okay, let's put this thing in here. But you know what? I don't know that much about Harry Potter. So there you go. You could totally teach me about Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm not very good at keeping secrets, obviously. Okay, so what do we got here? Oh, it's one of these things. Uh, Alright. That over there. This one out over there. See, Sophie can teach us about Homestruck. There you go. I don't know anything about Homestruck. And I can teach you guys about Archer. Uh, what if we do this? Nope. How do I get this one down? Ah. Nope. I need to move you one more. Nope. How do I get this one to move? Mm. Hmm. Ah, it's the last one. Okay, hang on, hang on. There we go. I'm a laid back teacher. Uh, I don't I don't do it because I want to, you know, be more powerful or be smarter than other people. I I do it cuz I want to help people learn. Sally Rage, you're back. Are you going to double follow? Look at you. I've never seen anyone double follow. Thank you so much. We've got another kitty doll. Uh, all right, let's move on to the dining room with Professor Custard. No, that doesn't make sense. All right, let's put the little dollies over here. 
Oh, folks, give me the years. 19... I forget. I forget the years that they were born. Eighteen sixty-three, Duncan. Duncan is eighteen sixty-three, and Fiona was eighteen sixty-five. Ah, uh, where are the little Huxleys? Good question. Thank you very much, Pam, for shouting that out. Lever, let's go to the basement. have a lever number two. Let's do this. 